Hi, I'm here to demonstrate the capabilities of the hydraulic oil monitoring system. This analyzer is a real-time monitor for the condition of uh, hydraulic oil. This will monitor uh, particulates that can be built up over time. It will also monitor the content of water and it will also tell you if there are uh, air bubbles or you're, you have a loss of hydraulic fluid and air bubbles are starting to, the air is starting to get into your system. What you see here in front of you is the main screen for the wireless connection to the analyzer and in the background here I have a live image uh, showing the instrument actually in work. Um, this section below here, this white piece and this funnel on top is just a circulating pump that I'm using to continuously run oil through the analyzer. The analyzer itself is just this small piece here and it's using a mesh network technology to communicate back to a central hub that's running the software you see down here on the lower left. Currently I am running uh, what's called clean hydraulic oil right out of a jug um, <clears throat> and you can see this water indicator is actually triggering telling me that there is a small amount of water inside the oil even brand new. Uh, and for the software control if you have more than one analyzer on the network say it's an entire field of analyzers you will see a list of all the analyzer identifying names right here in this box. The software pulls through each one and queries the status and then it will display it on the main screen here. What we have is a semi-quantitative uh, bar that tells you if you have particulates present and a semi-quantitative bar that tells you the amount of water that's currently in the system. There are trigger points that will set flags, so this warnings box here, right now it's detecting a small uh, amount of water in the system. If there are particulates, this box will indicate particulates and this box will indicate uh, the presence of air bubbles. You can also look at a real-time uh, chart of the sensor responses within the analyzer. Uh, this is good for a debug mode, but in normal operation it isn't needed. All the uh, indicators and requirements are right here on the front screen. This is the system running with clean oil. What I'm going to do next in the next video is I will drain this clean oil out and I'll actually put in some sample hydraulic oil that was given to us to show you the difference between how it reads clean oil and how it reads dirty oil.